Hi everyone, this is CVGS, it's me Leon and today I bring you another new uh, unboxing video for BS49 uh, Dual Force for Battle Spirits Okay, this is a very unique uh, box as it comes with one of the latest Grand Walker that has come two colors as the box says, Dual Force Alright, which is uh, something they have not, uh, this is the first time they're doing this So this uh, this makes it even, even more special Aside from the fact that it also has a special uh, first release which comes with a 40 Sleeves, uh, 40 set of sleeves of machine done. Okay, next thing to take note about uh, this box is that, uh, as you can see, the return of machine done as well as uh, what's this? Okay, 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 thanks, thanks, third person. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so uh, as we look at this box, uh, just take note that this box currently boosts the following uh, all six colors except uh, red and blue are now as one, which is the upcoming Susano. All right, let's just have a look at the box all together. So, yeah, the sides are the usual details. What you need to know and then behind is the Grand Walker so as mentioned this is the Susano the red and blue Grand Walker which is for Terra Dragon as well as the Ocean King then there is a, a new white Grand Walker as well as the green Grand Walker itself, uh, itself. for the other colors are uh, most uh, just touch up for, for the last set itself so moving on to the box inside aha there we go Bashin done okay so yeah stop uh, stop staggering and continue the fight so yeah, anyways, so Bashin Dan State, it comes with two colors apparently, so white is just one of the many. Okay, the other one it will be red, but today what we've got here is uh, the white one, so it's still not too bad, I kind of like this one. Okay, moving on to the packs themselves, okay, as you can see it's just as the same as the box cover, it's very unique, although I do feel that it, I thought well, I thought this would be a War Dragon boost though, but I guess this is fine too, I like the Fludadian they applied to it. Uh, and also take note that this pack comes with 9 cards per pack. Uh, each box contains as well as one double X-ray or 10 X-ray, right? So uh, without further ado, let us move on to the unboxing with uh, the cracking, shall we? Cracky ray. Okay, that's damn damn lame, Okay, and we are back. So uh, with now that the cards are all out, and today we will be showing you five cards instead of the usual three because not only did we open the double X rare for the set, we also have a special uh, guest of the CP rare for this set. The CP rares are basically uh, different colored variations of Strike Worms for the other remaining four colors that had not been released. Uh, considering the red one and the white one has already been released for uh, quite a while ago. So yep. So now what we have here is that uh, since we opened the double X, we shall start with the double X first. So this is the Grand Walker next to us. Uh, his name is Grand Walker Glen. So Grand Walker Glen charges on Ancient Dragons, Heaven Messenger, Avatar, cost three or higher. Saga, uh, Saga Brave, Sword, uh, or Sword Blade type of Brave. So quite a ra quite a wide range, I have to say. So Grand Skill level one and two, Flash timing, both players attack stats. Send 3 cards from this nexus to the void. Destroy 1 opposing spirit ultimate of BP 6k or lower. Alternatively, destroy 1 opposing nexus. Grand Field, level 2, flash timing. During your attack step, when your spirit uh, from the family Ancient Dragon attacks by exhausting this nexus, you can negate an ongoing white magic slash exo effect other than those active on the field. Uh, uh, yeah, active on the field, correct. So, uh, Oh, by the way, in case you're wondering where my I got my translation from, we, we got all of it from World Cards, including the card list. Do go and check it out. Links in the description below. So yes, so based on this, Glenn is a very interesting Grand Walker that counters white specifically. Okay, so at the same time, he has a skill very similar to Bashin Dan, the Grand Walker uh, Bashin Dan released much earlier. But his skill was a dis uh, send two cores instead and destroys four K. So slightly, so this is slightly stronger and requires only just one core extra. So I say it's not bad because Nexus has not a lot of cards destroy Nexus directly these days. So I say it's a good addition. However, it do know that it does not have a uh, treat this core, uh, treat this symbol as red effect. So you won't get the rate reduction, but you still get your card reduction. However, his grand field is very effective against white cards in general, since magic is sealed off, so is EXO. Primary, I can see one of those get affected will be Android, because they focus on both sides of magic and EXO, so this is quite annoying to them. However, do note that except uh, other than those active on the field, if the card is already existing on the table, it, should, uh, it cannot be affected uh, from what I understand. Okay, but things in hand usually should be affected. Okay, moving on to the next card will be one of the star of the show, 
of the BS-49, which is part of the Susano's uh, major X-Rex. The Dino War God, um, Murakumo Rex. Murakumo Rex himself is a te uh, he's an Avatar Terra Dragon. He has a heaven release 2, level 1, 2, and 3. When this spirit attacks, send 2 cards from your red, blue, grand walker uh, to this spirit. If you've done so, destroy 1 opposing spirit ultimate or BP equal or lower than this spirit. In addition, if you have blue symbol, send 2 cards from an opposing grand walker nexus to the void. Once per turn, you can refresh the spirit. Moving on to his level 2 and 3, when this spirit attacks, when this uh, spirit destroys an opposing spirit ultimate, send 1 card from your opponent's life to your opponent's reserve. This card is very aggressive. Holy okay. This card is very very aggressive. So meaning to say that let's say you have Susano, you already fulfilled his uh primary heaven release condition. At the same time, the blue symbol uh condition as well. Considering that Susano actually covers for both red and blue symbol uh reduction. So this is a very very powerful card. And especially when he still even do lives to you and even get to re refresh once per turn. So, and he's a 6 cost, 2 red, 2 blue, damn, cheapest is 2. And to bring him to level 2 is only 3 cost as well, which is a very decent number. At least it's not 2, be glad. So, I feel that this is pretty good. At the same time, if he's on level 1, and the moment it attacks and he gets to heaven release, you'll bring him straight up to level 2. Downside is that his BP is a little on the low side, but that's fine I guess. Give and take lah, huh? Moving on to the green cards. Okay, next we have the... God, uh, the Shell God, Knight of Gladius. Knight of Gladius is an Avatar Shellman. Okay. Release, le uh, release 2, level 1 and 2 when this spirit attacks. You can heavy exhaust up to 2 opposing uh, spirit ultimates. After that, by sending 2 cards from your green, green Grand Walker Nexus to this spirit, for each spirit ultimate that was heavy exhaust by this effect, some uh, send 1 call from your opponent's side to the reserve. Whoa ho ho! And then when this spirit attacks, opposing burst cannot be activated. In addition, all attacking spirit gains 15k BP. And then again, he is supposed to go with the God of War Ares. So, from what I'm reading here, okay, so he is telling you that I am going to completely decimate your frontal defenses, okay, and by sending two calls from my Green Grail Walker Nexus, not only I diminish your your front row your attacking rolls basically I also diminish your life for each card that is AB exhausted this way so meaning to say that he's not just attacking he's not just uh, downing you just on the battle he's also killing you slowly from the inside every time he swings and blast that he gives BP 15k to all attacking spirit and it's a passive so whew, this guy damn no joke but we're at it, and with this kind of ability, of course he has to go with a powerful Grand Walker, which is Ares himself. Grand Walker Ares. So Grand Walker him, uh, Ares himself is the Grand Walker of Olim. Okay, so he charges on Parasite, Shaoman, Heaven, Messenger, as well as Avatar, cost 3 or higher. So symbol is also treated as green for his level 1 and 2. Grand skill, Flash. Both player attack set, send 3 cards from this uh, Nexus to the Void. Send one opposing exhaust, exhausted spirit ultimate back to your opponent's hand. Okay, Grand Field during your attack set, you can attack with two of uh, with two spirits from the family Shaman with two symbols or less at the same time. Your opponent can only block either one; the other cannot be blocked. Battle resolves at the same time. So basically, meaning to say that usually you attack one by one, right? This guy, his Grand Field allows you to attack with two spirit at the same time simultaneously and your opponent can only choose to block one and unable to block the other. So meaning to say that if he... Uh, so combining with his uh, X-Ray, if he swings he's gonna heavy exhaust you and then he's gonna make you take life and then the thing you're about to block has another extra 15k. <laughs> so, meaning, so if the thing is only a 1k thing, it suddenly becomes 16k. Very very quickly. And that includes himself when he attacks because it did not specify uh, it didn't say other spirit it just say attacking spirits so he himself will go from 11 to 26 easily matching a lot of the base power of a lot of ultimates some may even be higher of course with the exception of burning soul dragon but that is like 10 cores uh. but you know so he is also quite unique i have to say considering he is also the first grand walker with the ability to let you attack with two cards simultaneously truly worthy of the uh, name uh, Ares. Lastly, we have this uh, Strike Worm. 
Okay, for this one, the Blue Moon Dragon Strike Worm. Something like, like yeah. Okay, so he is a Avatar, Galaxian, and a Ocean King. Okay, he's level 1, 2, and 3 when this spirit is, sum uh, is summoned. Uh, check one of your opponent's burst. If it's a spirit or ultimate burst, you may discard it. In addition, if you have a blue grand, uh, if you have a grand walker, oh, sorry, if you have a nexus, sorry, if you have a nexus, you may add one call from the void to this spirit. Level two and three. When this spirit attacks, uh, if your opponent has six cards or more, discard his entire hand, and then he draws two cards. And in addition, if you have a red grand walker, you may destroy one of your opponent's nexus. The go to this one. He just take you and swing only. You see the spear in his hand. He's gonna stab you with it and chuck you really, really high. So for for a CP, it's rarely to get to see this powerful for the most part. Most of the CPs are either reprints or they are generally just quite okay for the most part. But this guy is quite uh, quite special, considering that he is a walking grid thunder, and he probably won't survive the second turn. Probably won't. Yeah, consider he can discard burst, and he can also gain core. He can also discard your hand. He can also destroy your nexus. But of course, uh, take note that he may, because of his low BP, also means he's actually quite easily destroyed for the most part. Uh, if you open to hit a burst that cannot be destroyed, then we're gonna have a problem. But of course, at the same time, if, if his hand is 6 and above, then he is gonna have a problem. So yeah. So I feel that this CP is actually quite worth to try if you are looking into building a blue deck, especially considering with Susano around. So yeah. And that is all for today. If you like what you see here, remember to subscribe to our channel as well as show hands on our social, like on Discord, Facebook, and even Twitter. So all with the, all the links in the description as well as ring the bell to get notified of our latest videos. And with all that said, thank you all for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!